Okay, beautiful. Okay. All right. Family, we are here live. Night Tracks Radio, of course, I'm your humble host, Mr. Radio Extraordinaire, the teddy bear, often imitated but never quite duplicated. And we're joined today by two of the legendary members of R&B group royalty, of course. True, Rodney will be joining us soon, but right now we're being joined, of course, by Stephen, Mr. Stephen, Russell Hartson, okay, and my man, John John, we're joining us, okay, and our new hit single, yeah. of course, Lady in My Life, and there he is, Mr. Yes, Bedford. Yes. Hey, what's hey, going on? Hey, what up, buddy? Right. <laughs> what up, what up, man? Oh, man, we all here, man, like I was telling, like I was telling uh, Stephen and John John, we were chopping it up earlier going back to Pasadena, and I wanted to ask you guys collectively, man, the industry has changed so dramatically, and I wanted to ask you collectively, how were you able, able to kind of navigate and kind of go with where we are now? Because when we started, there was no streaming, there was no internet, there was no Twitter, none of this stuff. And everything now you can stream and download digitally is just a whole completely different vibe now. So how did you how were you able to just kind of navigate and get up into now as far as where we're at from as far as the music standpoint is concerned? Well, I mean, you have to you have to be renaissance. You have to be able to adjust with the times in order to survive, period. That's it. That's it. Uh, yeah. So yep. we just we just we just take our time in each era that comes. We take our time. Uh, we we keep our ear to the streets creatively. Uh, we have a great relationship with our fans, so we're always able to go out and make money and perform. And musically, you know, sometimes we stay out of the way. And then when it's time for us to slip one in, we throw a jab. Just like right now, it's the perfect time for us to come with, with uh, what we did with Lady In My Life. So we just take we just strategically take our time and pace ourselves because, you know, we realize... Yeah. Time is an illusion anyway, you know. Right. Yesterday, they just released music on CDs in 1988 yesterday. Yeah. Here we are. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. So, it's, it's incredible, yeah. man. You know, one of the things a lot of young artists getting in this business, they truly don't understand the business aspect of this industry. And you guys collectively learned the hard way as far as what this business can do to you because you get signed to a major label, they throw all this money at you, and at the time, you don't know that's being used basically to bankroll everything that you do. It's no more than a loan. Right. And uh, I want right. to ask you, there's no, there's no more than a loan, and a lot of times when you're at that age, you don't understand that. How long did it take you collectively to become wow. aware of this? Wow. Uh, well, we... we when we got in the business, we were fortunate enough to get around people that were well versed and well seasoned already. We had guys like and me, especially, you know, I have to speak for myself. You know, I got around Gerald Levert very early, Keith Sweat very early in my career. And so I started to learn about publishing and all that stuff immediately because I was a songwriter. And um, so, you know, of course, I brought all the information back to the crew to let them know this is what's happening. This is what we're in. Oh, this is it's a production. You know, we found out uh, in a it took us a year and a half to really see what the business was. And it took us another couple, another year or so to start making decisions on what we wanted to do for our future. And, you know, we took our our careers in our hands and uh and here we are you know yeah it's been a big years later it's been a big change man i mean even for even for me to this day i find it very hard to adapt as far as the way music has changed so dramatically um it was an emphasis yeah. on songwriting oh yeah, yeah it seems to me that's not there anymore everything is about glitz and glamour and there's no emphasis on there's no meaning behind yeah. the music anymore. And that's one of the things that I've always been really impressed with you guys collectively. The emphasis was on songwriting and also the production. And speaking of production, the production and the harmonizing on the remake of Lady in My Life was done incredibly great. <laughs> incredibly great. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, appreciate that. Man. And John John, man, the outlaw. I like the guy. <laughs> I like that. John John. I, like outlaw. I gotta I gotta use that. I gotta use that. Yeah, yeah, T. 
outlaw. The outlaw, man. The outlaw, man. You know, video was huge when you guys started out in the mm-hmm. 80s with yeah. MTV and all these other things. And now all that. you don't really see that like it was in the 80s. And everything is basically, if you don't have that machine behind you, uh-huh. <laughs> You go on mm. YouTube, people making videos, and pick them on TikTok and uh, other platforms, yeah. and next thing you know, they're signing these crazy, outrageous deals. And I'm kind of saying, yeah. well, well, I'm gonna ask the fellas, man, how do you feel about that? As far as the amount of work and time and effort that you've put into cultivating your careers, where you see somebody that's really not doing that, and they're getting these major deals. I well, think. I'm, I'm, I, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Jay. Well, I'm gonna say this yeah, real fast. Yeah. I'm gonna say it real fast. When I was younger. And I had a Volkswagen, and I fixed it up real nice, and I got Jack for it. <laughs> I got Jack. So I, I'm making a story like it took me like five, six years to get that bug like I wanted. It took them 30 seconds to take my car, man. So yeah. it's more of a – even with the industry, it's like they still in. The industry is still in what, what, what we, with the Temptations, with Jackson's, Everybody that started, they stole it and they're making it fast. They're making it go real mm-hmm. fast now. And that's the essence is lost after that, man. It's like, I don't even want it. Like my car, I didn't even want that mug, man. When I found it, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> so like but, but, but you hear what Rodney was talking about? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Rodney took his time with his bug to get it together the way he wanted it. That's what we call AR in the music industry. Yeah. So what we did, we, we sat down with, you know, the, the Simo Doe, the Jensen's, the we sat down with a lot of people who were Atlantic, and they, they geared us into the careers of what Troop has right now. So it's like mm-hmm. we learned a lot being with those people. They taught us a whole lot. And that's what you don't get anymore with these new artists. They don't know, yeah. they, you know, they don't know anything about that. They don't know nothing about that. <laughs> well, look, I'll say the, the good thing for the artist today is that you don't have one person sitting behind the desk rubbing his chin deciding yeah, who's yeah. talented and who's not. <laughs> the, right, you can yeah. put your own music out and if somebody likes your music then you have a fan. And That's I love it. that. Yeah. I, I've yeah. always yeah. hated yeah. and resented yeah. the fact that somebody that don't even write songs can sit back and decide and say what's hot, who's his, do this, yeah. do it like this, do yeah. it like that. I never really yeah. like that. So yeah. I like yeah. the fact of the freedom. Yeah. Like we have our own company, we're doing films, we're releasing um, music when we want to, and we're making the decision. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's I, our yeah. decision yeah. if we want to yeah. do something. Nobody's, nobody's stamping the, the, the tape, you know. I like yeah. the freedom of it. So kudos yeah. to those who can be That's less great. talented than Stevie Wonder and still get some momentum. I'm not mad at that, bro, because everybody's not going to be like Truth. When the last time right. you seen a group perform like Truth? It's, it's 2023. When did another troop appear? You get it? It's only one. So you have your space. Mm-hmm. You know, right. and these people, they, yeah. they're having their space. They're, they're, having, their, they're having their time to create you know we're all pieces of god having this experience so they're able to create and i like the fact that there's a freedom i just don't like that the powers that that are behind promoting the music and what we hear uh the way they utilize that is not a good thing for the culture yeah you know i don't agree with that i think there's a lot. If you listen to a lot, if you listen to a lot of music outside of what is played mainstream, you're gonna hear a lot of good songs. You're gonna hear a lot of good lyrics. You're gonna yep. still hear a lot of great production. But if you're just on the radio and just wait for that to be played, you're not gonna hear that. You're gonna hear mm-hmm. the low frequency right. music that drives a certain energy. Yep. That's what you're gonna see because of the agenda of keeping us in a daze. And, and looking at titties and stuff, you know. Yeah. And, and there's I've a spell binding going on, and we're just, some yeah. are caught up in it and some are not, you know. Right but this, this is going to yeah. pass, and that's why we released Lady of My Life, because we're pushing the cusp, like Bruno Mars and everybody else doing real music. And I won't say yeah. real music, but doing nostalgic music. We want to push the envelope to get that coming back sooner than later. Well, it's okay to say real. It, well, I mean, it definitely resonates in your music. And I've always, and I said, you know, when I get you guys on, I wanted to ask you, 
had at any time have you thought collectively as far as giving seminars on being able to learn how to be more financially aware of what you're doing as far as being able to, as you said, Stephen, being able to control the narrative, control your purpose, control your music, because right. you know, you, you're in completely in charge of what you do. And I think one of the things that's hurt the music industry greatly is the lack of artist development. That's been yeah. that's been stripped away completely. When you guys performed yeah. well oiled machine, everything you could practice, how you speak, how you you know conduct yourself in public when you meet and greet. And yeah. I don't see I don't that see was that. important to us. Yeah. <laughs> we old we were old school. You know, we were yeah. we were at the end of that that style of doing it. We were right at the end of that. Right. Yeah. You know, but those days that they've they've passed, man. It's just yeah, like us, it's just like us remembering when we hit a home run, but you'll never get back to that game again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like you gotta enjoy. We gotta enjoy spread my wings and and enjoy it when it's time to perform it. But we have lady in my life. You know, we got the baby makers. You know, we got the the B sides. You know, we got a lot of new stuff going on. So it's just a matter of. You know, just moving forward, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And and really appreciating yeah. the journey, you know, appreciating all of it, you know. Right. I, I hate yeah. that they made songs worth ninety nine cents and you can spend nine dollars and get any song you want. I don't like mm -hmm. that. I don't mm -hmm. like that. They don't they don't pay us, you know, they don't pay the writers, so I really am not fond yeah. of any of that. Any right, of right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know what was going to happen when they when all the music stores just got up and just walked away from sam goody to tower records to music land to they warehouse. need to bring that That's back when they, <laughs> they need to bring it back yeah they do when they, man it hurts so much because you become so accustomed you know what let's go and get the new troop album yeah i'm dating right. myself That's all right i'm, I'm all right with that and see, read the track. credits and see who wrote on <laughs> yeah. it. You know? Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. The whole liner. Yeah. Yeah. I remember John John one time I heard you even say you said one of the things that you didn't like is that you you lose touch with that kind of intimate feeling relationship mm -hmm. with the fans, yep. man. When you with when, fans, when yeah. That, yeah. You know, I it's, it's 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 challenging. It's very challenging. But I gotta know, and I know a lot of the listeners definitely want to know: when can we expect a full album? Um, well, we're putting songs together in the middle of being on the road and all that. We're putting songs together little by little. Um, we're gonna try to have a release at least by Christmas. If not, it'd be the first of next year. Yeah. Okay. Okay, because yeah. I've had people say, "When they're gonna bring some new, new new album or an EP?" And I say, "Hey, look, Rome wasn't built in the day." I said, "When it's right. done, you'll you'll be the first to know." Yeah. You mentioned something as far as doing some scores from movies. Has that really piqued your interest, Stephen? Because I know you do a, a lot of writing, and you are very exceptional, very gifted. Where I like to say, you're the man behind the curtain <laughs> in control of a lot of these artists out here, and they don't know that you've actually written. Mm -hmm. Produced, yeah, because that's where all the money's at. Yeah, <laughs> that's where all the money's at. So, what do you? What is your vibe as far as doing some movie scores? Well, um, we have our own um, film production company called Black Box Original. Okay. We have three films out right now on Tubi. Uh, we have a huge distribution deal, so we're just creating content. We have a series out called Day Ones. Yep. Uh, we have a documentary called uh, yeah. Five of a Kind, The Story of True. Yep. Okay. And we have uh, Tales of a Boy Band. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. we, you know, we score our own movies. You know, we're not waiting for somebody to like our music to put in their film. We create our films and use our own music. So we're just, we're just creating our own lane, period. You know, just like these new people that you say are mm -hmm. able to, you know, I'm able to pick up a camera not being Steven Spielberg and have products right. that people like. <laughs> you look yeah. at the movie and might say, hey, that was dark mm -hmm. or that, hey, that's not, you know, but there's people watching it each and every day. Yeah. 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 I'm wrong. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and it's funny because what Rodney and I were talking about before you two guys got on, man, 
as far as making that transition, I'm looking at Marcus Houston. This is all he's focused on now as far as movies. They release yep. a movie every two weeks. They got a yeah, movie on, out. On Tubi. Yep. On Step yeah, they, yeah, on the <laughs> yeah, Step Step Mother Mother One. Yep. yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is this is this yep. is this is where we're at. And I want to ask you about as far as if we can get back in Doctor Who's time machine and go back about 15 years, what are some of the things that you would have changed as far as to be even better prepared for where we're at right now? Wow. Um, I, go ahead. You go ahead. Wow. I don't want to talk too much. Well, I mean, I think I think with me it's simple because I know what the, the hell I did. I would have <laughs> I would have changed. Yeah. I would have changed my thought process of uh, of the business of what I really know what I need to do. I would have changed a lot of thinking and, and processing in my head. I wouldn't have changed a lot of other stuff, man. I don't care what it was. I wouldn't have changed it. But me, but by being smarter, slowing down, understanding, I would have changed that a little bit about myself. That's what I would have did for me. What about you, John John? It, it, like right on. I would, I would, I would definitely want to, you know, step, you know, be more involved in uh, the business area of learning more of the business and, yeah. and and getting everything down as far as like to to the point means a dollar to cents that mean I mean trying to get it all the way down to like to the button to the pin of knowing what it is in, in the business side of of the music business, um, and I just think that. Uh, I would have liked to um, just, I guess, do more in music and in production. I mean, I'm starting in production now, but I would have liked to, you know, I could see yeah. myself doing more production like early on. Yeah. Right. Well, like Rodney, you said earlier, everything is a learning process, man. With age comes growth. It also yeah. comes wisdom. So we all grow if we allow ourselves to grow. Steven, I gotta, brother, I got to compliment you, man. Your daughter is something else, man. She is super. <laughs> <laughs> she is Thank super you, talented, right. man. She is super Thank talented. She is. She, she really, is really super is. talented, man. Because I remember I interviewed her about three years ago, and wow. she completely blew me away as far as just her overall wisdom of the music industry. And she was gushy. See, I learned all this from my dad. He taught me. I said, yeah, I can tell <laughs> man, that's that's man, that's beautiful, man. Thank you. I mean, appreciate it, man. Oh man, I just I, I just call it like I said, man. It's that um I just I just want a lot of our great artists like yourself to be able to prosper in what we're dealing with right now from a financial standpoint because you yes. spend so much time and so much effort yeah. making money for quote unquote the machine. Yeah. Then you losing out. Mm -hmm on your hard work and what you've earned and now to have that con level of control over what you put out when you decide to put it out yeah. is definitely yeah. a beautiful thing but man hey you can't tease us with a slice of cheesecake you got to definitely bring that full course meal <laughs> next time <man. laughs> it's coming man <laughs> yep, so, it's coming man, Hey, a lot of our listeners yeah. out there that are tuning in, man, they want to know what we what are we looking at as far as some upcoming live performances? Because I know you guys are constantly on the road performing. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of dates coming up, man. We're going to uh, yeah. Illinois. We're going to uh, Virginia. Um, Virginia. We're going back to Oklahoma. We're going to Detroit. Uh -huh. We're going to the East Coast. Uh, we're going to the Carolinas. We're going all over the place. So um they yeah. just have to look out for us because we're we're coming to we're it's, the momentum is this song lady in my life is picking up a lot of momentum so it's it's, it's getting crazy what about the two and mo two most important parts man now when i'm saying parts i'm talking about two major countries two major cities i <laughs> take that back japan and england uh, okay what's gonna happen Japan. Japan we haven't been to Japan in a while. But it's gonna happen right. though. We're, 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 we're in the we're in the right we're on the right boat right now. That 
Anything we want to pick up, anything we want to get on the way there is available for us. So it's coming. I promise you. I can just feel it. I, I can't yeah, tell you when, yeah. but it, it's coming, man. It's it's like, ah, oh, let's get ready for this. I can just already a tell. Of time, yeah. Yeah, that's man, all. That's it's all. a matter of time. Because I know all for one, they practically live in Damn. Japan. And Smart. all their shows yeah. are sold out because they have Damn. such a love, love affair with R&B music yeah. and they still have record stores. Now, you guys have always yeah. been honest, always been honest, but I got to ask you, do you think here in the States, we become somewhat spoiled as far as music is concerned and not really appreciating what you do? Of course. Yeah, right. yeah. been like that for a long time. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. For a long time. No question. <laughs> right. uh, no question. If Troop goes to Japan right now, Japan would be like we have a hit record out right now. Yeah. Oh my God. Exactly. Oh. Hey, they would treat us like they would treat us like four Michael Jacksons Royal. right now. Yeah, in Japan. yeah royalty. Easy. Bowing and everything. Yeah. I mean, like right now they would. Yeah. Yeah. This is different, different culture, man. The appreciation is different. We display our talent in a lot of ways over here. We're not, we're not boxed in as far as being creative. So, you know, we're just yeah. talented and we throw it away. We give it away. You take this you from us, we move to this. You do yeah. this, we do that. You know, we're just a creative thing. So it's easy for us not to hold on to songs the way we used to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, microwave now, new single every month, you know. You know, at the end of the day, no matter what you do, you want to be appreciated for the work that you do. And I've got a lot of flack. I said, We are one of the most spoiled countries on this planet, no, because we we take things for granted. And I've been over to Japan three different occasions, they still have record stores out there, yeah. Wow, smart. they still, I mean, they come to the concerts with vinyl, the liner notes, and they know word for word. They show so much yeah, love yeah, and reverence yeah. for the artists. And yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. I, man, I hope before 2024, you guys get an opportunity to go over there and just completely give them the full troop experience, yeah, we man. Will. They we they will. need to have that. It's a need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're gonna give them. We're gonna give them everything. We're gonna give them what they didn't even think of about Troop. What Steve was doing. What Rodney's been working on. What Alan's working on. What myself was working. We're gonna give them everything. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. Give Japan everything. I hope so because I'm getting kind of leery, man. I've seen all these Anglo-Saxon artists coming from England singing R and B and getting on the major yeah. charts. And I'm like, wait a yeah. minute, they're, yeah. they're singing yeah. our music. And we can't. Hey, get well, maybe, well, maybe well, we should get smart and, right. and start taking their music and singing their music. Maybe we should start doing their stuff, man. I've been saying that years ago. Well, I mean, you know, it's just a recycle. Like, it's just yeah. a recycle, you know. But we just yeah. have to, at some point. But when you, it's interesting when you say that. I want to make a point to that. When a, a, a Caucasian artist does do it the black audience will appreciate him more than they appreciate a black artist with the yes. same song. So it's a yes. black thing. It's not a, yes. it's, it's definitely not a white thing. It's a black on black yes. crime when it comes to that area, you know, but again, yeah. we expect a lot out of our, us crime. in certain areas and then we don't expect anything at all in other areas. It's sad. I remember an artist out of England named Daly. He came out and he had one hit single from an album and when he got the airplay out here, people were losing his mind. I'm like, wait a minute. He's not doing anything different than I've seen before. It's nothing original. It don't have it's to nothing, be. It's, it's nothing original. Well, it, 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 it doesn't have to be. The thing is, he's a different culture. He's not he's he's not a black man. He he's he's different. So since he's and different, there's a certain word he's doing us. So that's blowing people's mind. That that blows people's yeah. mind when when you know, oh, it's the other. The other was doing that and they sound that great. I mean, remember Rick Ashley? Yeah. yeah. We blew our we our, our minds were lost over him when we heard him sing. Michael so McDonald's, it was like, you know, Kenny it's just like Michael McDonald, yeah. All yeah, it just goes. That's just how it is. Journey, yeah, they just the you know goes on and on. <laughs> there it is, Steve. Yeah, there it is. You know. Well, you know is. what? I'm I'm a little jaded. I never looked at Michael McDonald as being a white man. I look at him. He got some see, love in him. See how we do? We do. Yeah. 
We do that with he, Michael he McDonald. Yeah, we money. do. Kenny Loggins too, man. Yeah, man. He, Kenny Loggins. Yeah, yeah. You know, he. I said him too. I used to joke. I said, yeah, that brother's definitely. He's definitely been to a few barbecues and some cookouts. So oh, I'm right man. with that, man. He's good. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Good time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Play dominoes and everything. Yeah, he did. <laughs> okay, man. He, 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 he's more he's more than welcome he's more than welcome brothers can you give yeah. give all the listeners out there some information as far as where they can catch up with you as far as on the various website because they want to make sure they're able to keep track of everything you're doing handle that go ahead no i said handle that steve okay um you can follow us on instagram at troop official troop 2003 yep. Um, yep. and everything is on there, all of our information, and you can follow uh, the the R&B, R&B Legend Troop on Facebook. It's okay. our brand new page, R&B Legends Troop, uh, Troop R&B, something like that. Uh, I think it's Troop R&B. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's R&B. our main page on Facebook, and you can follow me on Instagram at Steve, Steven underscore wrote it. Because <laughs> he did write it. <laughs> he <liked> it. <laughs> Pretty sneaky. He wrote it, and you, and you, and you liked it too because yeah. it was a hit. <laughs> um, yeah. you can get at me at John John of Troop at oh. Yahoo.com. That's J O N J O H N of Troop at Yahoo.com. You can look me up on Facebook at John John Solo Project. Finally, and Team John John. And I hate to say it, I've been saying this for years, Where man. You at, <laughs> Mine is so simple, man. Everything, Twitter, all that. You can just say Rodney of Troop, and you'll find me. There That's smart. Yep. <laughs> He's yes, real smart. 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 Simplicity, <laughs> simplicity is a beautiful thing. And like, hey, that hey, I, hey, I don't know if it was smart or, or me being lazy at the time. So whatever. <laughs> 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 oh man man well you know what it's always a pleasure man to have you fellas on the show remember this is always your home whatever you hey, need please you. don't hesitate to let the teddy bear thank know you. continued success oh before i forget the movie the documentary about the group where can the fans go to see this at where they can go where it's, can they go watch this it's all streaming on tubi it's on tubi on tubi yeah. it's on tubi all yeah. right, that's what I like to hear, man. So it is. Tales written. of a boy band, five of a kind. Everything mm. is out right now. Everything is out streaming. You can watch yeah, it right as we speak. Right now, yeah. man, streaming. Yeah. No more movie theaters. Tales no of a boy band. Just sit at home and watch everything. Go right. watch it, bear. Yeah. Go watch it, bear. <laughs> hey, you know yeah. I would do that, man. You know I would do that. Man. <laughs> and, 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 y- and y'all definitely check out that day ones. Check out the day ones. Um, that's yeah, man. That that movie is something else. Steve did his thing on that, that y'all. Y'all got to check out day yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. And, um, if you want to get merchandise, um, go to sixty seven kings dot com. Sixty seven kings. Yes. Yep. Sixty seven kings dot com to get any merchandise. You can get you a true pillow yep. to t shirt. Get your true socks, hat, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> The teddy, bear needs like, the, te- hey, the teddy bear needs like a 4X, man. So I need okay. a 4X. <laughs> okay. Right. We got you. Right. We got you. We got you. I need, I need a 4X, you, bro. man. Brothers, thank yeah. you so much. Much continued oh, yeah. success. No problem. Hey, man. Rodney, stay up, man. Yeah. Remain strong. John, John, keep it sexy. And Steve, keep writing them hips, brother. Keep writing them. Thank you, man. There you go, baby. Best, thank you, man. Thank you, All right. You God go. bless. Thank you, man. All right. Bye bye, y'all. So, <laughs> legendary RV group troop of course here on night tracks radio lord have mercy it's a beautiful thing i want to thank everyone for tuning in and allowing the teddy bear to help you tune out from all the negativity again remember to get the new hit single from troop lady in my life man that took me back a little bit it really did it's really good to see great artists having the ability to navigate from the 80s to where we are now, understanding the full aspect of what it means to have complete complete creative control over the music, you know, because a lot of these up and coming artists, they get blinded by the money that's being thrown at them by the labels and they don't understand. That's no more than a loan. Just like you're going to a bank trying to get a loan, 
they're looking to recoup recoup that money. And if you don't make a certain amount of sales on your on your music, that label will drop you in a minute. So understand the business aspect. It's music, but it's business first. Always business. I want to thank you. Hey, by the way, you said, well, Teddy Bear, if I missed the interview, where can I see the full interview? I'm glad you asked. You can actually go on our YouTube channel that said Night Tracks with two X's. Night Tracks radio podcast to see the interview in its entirety and also be sure to catch up with us to get all the latest updates let your fingers do the walking follow us on instagram that's at l-o-t-l the comfort zone radio that's at instagram we're also on tiktok at night tracks radio and last but not least be sure to follow us on facebook that's at facebook.com forward slash night tracks radio we'll be back on live this coming monday with the one and only mr robbie Never. We'll actually be broadcasting on Blog Talk Radio and also on iHeartRadio. So be on the lookout for that. Be sure to get all the necessary instructions we want to make sure because we're here to give you what you want and provide what you need. And as in always, keep it soulful here on Night Tracks Radio.